in Fairfax, Virginia, home of Fairfax Hyundai, because this is where the winners of the uh, Hyundai hands-on contest pick up their cars. Now, there were nine contestants, and for 117 hours, they had to touch the car. Of course, bathroom breaks every once in a while, but they even had to sleep touching the car. And it started off with nine people. By the time the 117 hours came in, guess what? There were eight people left. And how did they figure out who was going to win? We'll tell you who won, how, and there's a bigger, in the words of Paul Harvey, the rest of the story is all coming up right here on Planet Vehicle. Hello, Planet Vehicle. My name's Paul Vaughn. This is Randy Green. And I'm Jeff Macaluso. And uh, I'm here at Fairfax Hyundai to pick up my new vehicle that I won at the uh, 2015 Hyundai Hands-On Contest. Uh, in this contest, we had to stand next to the car for 117 hours with uh, bathroom breaks every three, three hours or so. And uh, basically, uh, there are nine of us to begin with. Uh, after the first or second night, the uh, one contestant fell off the vehicle, but up until the very end, there were still seven of us who survived, at which point we had to go through a uh, random raffle, and by chance, I ended up winning. Uh, but I guess a lot of the people at the competitions have been saying that this year is a little bit different. They do this every year. It's a very competitive uh, event, but Jeff has a little bit more on uh, how, it's, how it's different from, from the previous years. Uh, from what we were told, I guess, uh, in previous years, there was a lot of competition, a lot of, uh, a lot of people got uh, kind of nasty in the contest, and uh, this year, it was, it was strange, we, we became friends. You know, the first day we came in not really expecting what was going to happen or, or how competitive things were going to be, and the more we talked to each other, the more we kind of felt, uh, you know, uh, kindred spirits, that these were the people that we, that we really cared about as we got to know each other. And we kind of came to this, uh, this conclusion, this idea that we weren't really so much worried about competing anymore. We wanted to, to form close bonds and friendships. And we realized that the car was just the car, that, you know, it would break down over time. It would, it would eventually, you know, be sold or, or broken. And it was, you know, it was just money. There wasn't really as much to it as, as the friendships that we, that we earned. We wanted to show the world a little something different. There was uh, something more than just uh, physical objects and, and money and greed. There was a, a common desire in humanity to, to bring out the best and, and show the, of what, the best of what humanity could be. So we decided that we weren't going to compete anymore. We were going to just endure and, and, and get through the competition together as a team and we actually started to look out for each other. You know, if somebody was going to have their hand slip off the, the car, we pointed out, hey, watch out, don't do that. So that at the end of it, we were all there and, and we came to peace with the idea that just one of us was going to win. And we were happy for that person. We, we saw, you know, the person we saw, we were lucky to see um, Paul here, you know, win the car. And if, you, if you've ever seen, uh, if you were lucky enough to see some of the uh, news footage, there wasn't a sad face in the crowd. We were so happy that, you know, our buddy has now a better chance at, a, at, a, at life and has a, a, a step forward. And, and we're, we're genuinely glad to be his friend. And there was um, one of the gentlemen named Howard who uh, was having a lot of trouble. He's a retired veteran. I know a lot of people were, um, were rooting for him as well. And so we've all decided to get together and we're going to try to help him out. We're going to try to help fix his car. And I, I think the group as a whole has become committed to even though we've all had rough backgrounds is when one person's down we're going to lift the other person up and it, it's just a story that uh, i believe a lot of people felt needed to be told which is why we we're lucky enough that uh planet vehicle decided to show up tonight and uh and, and tell our story um is there anything that you felt you wanted to say randy yeah, i just had a couple words thank you um yeah this is randy i just wanted to mention to elaborate on jeff what jeff was saying that we all came as a team. We we first came aboard as we all had one go to win the vehicle, but after two or three days, we like he was saying, we had a common bond to help each other because we developed friendships, and we laughed and we had good times and we had a lot of communication and that helped the time go by very quickly, even though it was a very long um, endurance, like it was five days and you had nonstop, you had constantly have your hand on the uh, on the automobile. But in that meantime, we all got along very well, and we all had, like I said, jokes, and we talked very well, and and we helped each other out. I was um, during the breaks, I was um, helping people get some food, and we were 
asking people, do you need any of this or do you need anything? Do you need a towel? Do you need foot spray and stuff like that? So we were all helping out each other uh, to, as a common go, which was um, quite remarkable. And um, I, I was in this contest about nine years ago and I was out in the first three hours and I didn't know how long I was going to make it this time, but luckily I, I made the whole 117 hours. Even though I have a bad back, I didn't know how long I was going to stay. But like Jeff was saying, we all stuck together as a team, and that helped each other um, as to make the time go by a lot quicker than it actually was if you're just standing still, you know, just twiddle, twiddling your thumbs, and you don't know how long or if you would even make it at all. But like I said, um, we're all, we all helped each other out, and people that are out of work, stuff like that, we're going to help them, you know, see if we can find possible job vacancies and stuff like that. So we all to get well, we all formed as one big team and um, hopefully the friendship is going to um, last long after the uh, contest has ended. Thanks. Thank you, Randy. And I guess I'd like to uh, give a shout out to everyone else who didn't make it here. That includes Orlando, uh, Jonathan, Kelly, Dave, and uh, uh, Howard. And I think that's, I think that's everyone, right? Yep. Well, uh, and Kathy. yeah, and Kathy, who unfortunately didn't make it to the end. But uh, you know, I guess we'll leave it at that. And uh, in the meantime, guys, you're, you're kind of scratching the paint. So if you guys could maybe you know, back a couple, couple feet or so. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. That was an amazing story. The fact that nine folks came together, eight survived, and even though it was a competition, they became friends, brothers, and they're going to be helping each other out. That is really amazing. Now, what's really amazing, also in addition to winning the car, is the ability to have a car to give up to someone. And I got right here Sam Missouri with uh, Fairfax Hyundai. How you doing? Doing great. Feeling good. Now, what you, what do you got in your hand? This is the winning key that they got in order to start the car because usually we run out of contestants. By the end, there's only one or two left and we kind of uh, drag it out till it's done. This time, they had eight out of nine left. So we were baffled what to do and collectively as Hyundai dealers in the Washington area, we came up with the idea of get the keys. We put a bunch of mismatched keys except for one that was good and our lucky winner got it. And they started the car and sure enough, it started. And I got to tell you the story. Usually this is a very competitive setting. And it was great to see these eight guys that are left there really cheering on each other as they were starting the car and sincerely being happy that one won. There was no animosity, there was no issue here. Nobody was upset that they didn't win the car. So it was a great event. We look forward to doing it every year if we can.